In this video, we'll be seeing how to generate texts and images using the APIs provided by OpenAI. First of all, you can come to this URL. I'll give the link for this documentation in the description. You can check that. And here, you have to log into your ChatGPT account and you can go to the settings. Here, you can go to the billing section and you have to add the billing for this project. So I'm on default project. You have to enable the billing for this one. So I have already added a credit balance to the project. So you can add a payment method and add the amount and you can get started using it. You can start using it after adding the payment method. So first you have to do that and then you can go to the doc section here. You can see the doc section here on the top. Go to the documentation and we can start with text generation. So click on this text generation and scroll down and you can see this curl request. So here, if you want to change this, you can see the Python and Node.js also. So if you select Python, you can import the library and do that. And for Node.js also, there is a library. So you can use that. So for all other languages, you can use curl. You simply have to make a post request to this URL and you have to pass this bearer token. That's it. So you can also pass this message as well. That's it. And it will work. First, we can copy this URL from here and we can go to our editor. Here, you can see I have created an file index.php and we are going to do this inside PHP. So let's open PHP and let's create a variable URL and we can give the URL that we just copied here. Now we have to get the API key. So you can give a variable API key here. Now we have to get it from the dashboard. So we'll be doing that. So let's go to the dashboard. Here, you can go to the dashboard section here and go to the API keys. And now we have to create an API key here. So you can click on create a new secret key, give some name, maybe test, and you can select the project here. I'm keeping it to the default one. And you can also add restrictions. I'm giving all the permissions. If you want to give restrictions for each model, you can give that. And now we can create this one. We can copy this API key and go to our code and then we can type the data that we want to pass. So data and that will be an array. And let's refer what all things that we want to pass. Let's go to the documentation. So we can go to the doc section here and go to the text generation and here. Okay, you can see we have to pass the model messages and inside messages, it is an array. We have to pass the role system content then role user and the content. Here the role system, you can set a message and the model will act according to the message. So you can maybe specify that you are an expert developer and give me code for things that I ask or something like that. Okay. And the system will act accordingly. So this is a message that you can set to the model. And this is the prompt that you can give. Uh, maybe you can ask generate a code for login or something like that. Okay, so we'll be doing that. So now we can copy this for referring. So we don't have to come here again and again. So I'm just copying it for that. Now we can go to the editor. Let's paste that here. And we can change this one to an arrow. Okay. And the message also, we can change it like this. And here we can open an array. Here we can change it to square brackets. Instead of curly brackets, you can change it to square brackets. Let's change the, make it an arrow here and here as well. Do the same for the user role as well. And that's it. Okay. So let's format it. Okay. So hope you can see this properly. And we'll just move it a little bit to the top. And here you can see a role system and a role user. Okay. I explained that earlier. And you can see the model as well. So we are using gpt 4.0 mini you can use a gpt 4.0 and all those things you can refer the documentation and for some models you might have restrictions so you can refer the documentation for that how it goes now we have to write the curl request for that so let's write the curl for that okay you can start with this curl ch equal to curl init 
and we can pass the url inside this one or you can pass it afterwards right now we can pass it inside this one and uh, then we can set the header and we can set the content type to json and also pass the bearer token so for that we can type curl set op and uh, dollar ch give a comma and you can type curl opt underscore header http header give a comma and we can pass an array here and inside that we can set the content type you can see the suggestion here you are setting to json and then we can pass the bearer token okay the suggestion is correct so you can use that so this is a php storm that i'm using so you will get suggestions like this so we are passing the authentication bearer token here authorization bearer token and this is the api key that is this one okay after that we can uh, come here give a semicolon here okay now we can set the method to post okay before that we can set curl set op dollar ch give a comma and uh, we can uh, set to return transfer to true comma and set it to true semicolon and now we can set the post set the method to post and for that curl dollar ch we can set post to true curl post and set this one to true that's it and now we can pass the data that is this one you can see the suggestion here we'll be encoding this to json and then sending it so i'm using this suggestion and this is it hope you can view the code properly okay hope it is visible for you okay and the next one we can execute this one so for that we can call first of all we can take it to a response variable and call curl execute and pass the variable that is ch okay and then you can close the curl of course and here we can echo the response dollar uh, echo dollar response and that's it now we are printing the entire response here okay so this will be it and this will work so we are passing the api key and that is going to this api url and this is the prompt that we are going to send and uh, okay the header is set we are passing the bearer token here it's a post request and this is the data it's json encoded we are executing it and printing the response here that's it very simple now we can try running it i'm having php installed in my system so i could easily run it like this using php storm so if you're familiar with php storm you can understand that okay so this is our response you can see we are getting an id then okay you can see the model and you can see the message here okay we are having a choice and it is a array and inside that there is a message and inside that we are having content okay so we can decode this json to an array and then we can access this content only okay let's do that so for that we can decode this to json decode and we can make it an associative array give a comma and set it to true now you will be getting it as an associative array and here we can access i think it was choices then there was an array okay, it was zero zero index and then there was message i guess it was message you can refer the response earlier and you can do that then it was content okay that's it so we can modify this one maybe okay let's modify this one to something else write a poem about birds okay okay that's it okay so now you will get the content okay as a response okay so let's run it let's refresh the page and here you can see the poem see it's only printing the response so that's it with text generation it is very easy and simple you simply have to make this curl request to the api and you can select the model and you can refer the documentation and there is a lot of things that you can uh, work around and do all those things so refer the documentation and the text generation is pretty simple now we can go to image generation there's a lot of things we'll be going into each one by one so let's go to image generation so let's scroll down and this is it okay this is the curl request we are making a curl request to the url this one and we are passing the bearer token 
this is the model you have to use dali 3 as the model otherwise you will get a very bad image so the generate image generated will be bad if you use any other model so use tally for image generation and this is the prompt and n is the number of images that you can request to generate on a request you can see that here okay so for dali you have to set it to one that is written here see for dali three you have to set it to one okay so you can refer the details here on the documentation if you go to this n parameter you will get more details about it okay and you can scroll down and you can refer the documentation here so i'm not going to that right now so let's go back to the image generation okay so let's copy the url from here and we can also copy this one this is the model and the prompt that we have to pass now go back to the code and here we can come to the top change the url here we'll be using this code so change the url and api key you don't have to change because this api key has the access to do all things so we don't have to change it we have to change this data so let's uh, remove this much from here okay okay and we can paste what we copied earlier this one and we have to edit it okay the first one was model so let's okay you have to remove this one now we have to change this to an arrow you can format the code and that's it so these are the things that you have to pass you can see the model this is the prompt you can uh, type whatever you want here and this is the n equal to one you have to set it to one if you are using the model dali 3 and this is the size of the image and that's it and uh, everything else is correct you don't have to change it this one you have to change it so first we can uh, maybe print the response only because we don't know what content to access we can refer the response variable maybe but right now we can print this one okay i'm removing that one okay let's remove this now we'll be getting the json response here just like before you will get the entire json response and after that we can check it and uh, print the url only okay now let's run this so this is the response you can see we are getting a data and it is an array and inside that we are getting the url here okay this is the url okay and this is the url let's open this url and see you can open it and this is the image you can see the image of the cat we give the prompt to create a cat so that is here and uh, now we can try accessing this url only before that you can go to the documentation and uh, here okay you can see that here here on the above section after the usage title you can see that here you can set the quality to hd and that will make it much more sharper and in detail so let's do that as well and you can also refer this one this is the size that you can give these are the sizes that you can give to the model so you can refer the documentation before you set the image model etc so you can refer that here and then you can set it so right now we can change the quality option and uh, let's try running it once more so you can give the quality here okay let's give it inside a uh, quotes and make it string and that's it okay give a comma here that's it so you can set the quality to hd and before running it we can decode this json here okay so just like before json decode and convert it to an associative array true and it was i think it was uh, data okay data of zero and it was url i guess okay so let's try running this one so you should get the url alone so let's try running it so this is the url you can see we are getting this as a url only and now we can open it now this image should be much more clearer than before you can see this was the previous image and this is the image generated right now so that's it so hope you understand that hope you understand how to generate images and text using the apis if you go to the dashboard you can see the usage for the project so if you go to usage you can see the usage for that particular project and for the month so you can see i have set a limit for this this is set by me you can set a limit here so that 
the API usage will not increase over that. Okay. So you can do that in the settings option. So you don't have to worry about this pricing going above your budget or something. So you can simply set the limit for that in the settings option. And also you can monitor the usage here. So you can see the usage that I have done. So this is a default project that I'm not using right now. So this is what we use for this demo purpose. And you can see the cost was around like $75.75. And it is okay, but for single request, it is a bit high, but that's fine. So you have to monitor your cost here. Otherwise, it could go to higher amounts. So you have to set a limit or you can monitor it yourself. So hope you understand how to generate images and text. So if you have any doubt, you can leave a comment below. I'll be responding to them. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more such videos.